Oh, what? How long have you been seeing her now? About six months. About six months. Yep. And and you, what? How would you describe him? Loving, caring, good credit. <laughs> Must I say? Don't have to ask me for money. Takes me out when I want to go out. I don't have to pay for everything. He got a car, own place. No car, no place. Come on now. Wait, what? It's obvious. Come on now. What do you want to say? Baby, I told you I'm a change. <laughs> just let me show I'm you. I'm so sorry. You're just really killing me right about now. You've been saying this like since forever. That's it. But you haven't complained about me. With you this. don't even got a high school diploma. Come what on you mean now. You don't got a high school diploma. I got my GED. <laughs> That's he better is than so nothing. so funny. What? That's better than nothing. Whatever. I'm done. I'm sorry. I moved on. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what to tell you. We'll be back. My comment is to the whore, since she's been whoring since 14, you should invest in some boobs like these. Oh! Well, change that look in your face, please. I'll have to check into my investment. So I, I don't know. I think I'm putting my money in the wrong place. Yes. Disgusting. Hello, this comment's intended for the dysfunctional Huxtable family. Um, where are your teeth, mother? None of your damn business. <laughs> is you talking, is you talking? really the question, where are your teeth? Is you Maybe her teeth is under them sweat stains under your damn eyes. I know. <laughs> I can't help that I'm yet, sweating like our missing. Kelly to Girl Scouts meeting right now, but. Raise your hand. Yeah. Raise your hand. Yeah. 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 This one's for the guy who got the right hook. Does your uh, credit score reflect your weight? Yeah. What? This? No. Sit on the no. weight. Okay. You want to be holding weight? Sit down slow. Don't bounce it. Slow. <laughs> 320 pounds. Right. Hey, Jerry. 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 Hey, Jerry. I wanted to know where she got the Gian Warwick wig because I was thinking it's really stylish. And I also wanted to know if these two went to therapy since she's obviously in love with her brother and did they live in Mississippi? And for the lady in the back, you're crazy. They got some fine black men who have jobs. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Oh, yeah. 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 Cut. Cut. In fact, I can tell you. <laughs> in fact, I can tell you next year we're going to start paying Eli. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, I got something to say to you. Lucky for you, because they like fat white girls. Oh! <laughs> and they like it. Whatever. They like it. <laughs> Stop Stop it. Don't go don't in yeah. the trunk. Uh -uh. Whatever. Hey, Jerry. I came all the way from Thunder Bay, Canada to go on the pole and get my Jerry B.
To think that you've been sitting on my face for the entire show, I find <laughs> appalling. But thank you for the good spirit. Okay, this is for the sex phone operator. They do not show you on TV when they advertise those things. <laughs> <laughs> This is for the lady who don't like black guys. You ever had a Mexican before? Thank you. I want to take this opportunity to thank all our guests for being on the show, and good luck to you. I hope you can work your situations out. You know, in our society, we are what we do. At least that's how folks initially classify us. So it must be understood that if you choose to make a living being a prostitute, phone sex operator, call girl, or whatever, even if the money's good, you're likely to be typecast in a less than respectful way. And that inevitably has consequences on your future possibilities, as well as current relationships. When you shed your clothing for a living, you can also wind up shedding your family and friends. You'd have to make a heck of a lot of money to ever make that worth it. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. What's your name? Courtney. Courtney, what happened to your hand? Oh, uh, I fell when I was snowboarding. You snowboard? Show <laughs> no, us how you not snowboard. Really. I go like this and then I just fall on the like ground. Like this? I go like this and then Why do you fall? You're not supposed to fall when you snowboard. Because I don't know how to snowboard. Now, is this a big disappointment to your uh, boyfriend because your arm's broke? Actually, it is. Little bit, so little bit. So you're a right-hander? Yeah, definitely. Nice, nice, nice. Anything you want to say? Uh, hi, Mom. How about safe <laughs> snowboarding to everyone? Oh, yeah, have fun snowboarding. Don't fall like me because it kind of hurts a little bit. Let's see it. <laughs> does that hurt? No, not anymore. You got some drugs. <laughs>